Hello friends and welcome to Fright Night Files and welcome to Under the Waves. Let me read you a little description of the game. Under the Waves is a narrative driven adventure game about the engulfing power of grief. Set in the depths of the North Sea in a techno-futuristic 1970s, professional diver Stan is struggling to overcome a life-changing loss and embrace a new future. The isolation of the deep sea is a fitting manifestation of his state of mind. And as Dan retreats further into his self-imposed solitude, he starts to experience strange events far beneath the waves. He will eventually have to make a difficult choice. Stay lost in the depths forever <clears throat> or break free to the surface and to the rest of his life. So I think this game, I've only seen some uh, screenshots, and it looks pretty um, balls. And I think the soundtrack is beautiful as well. Uh, let me see. It did recommend to play with a gamepad, but that's what we're gonna do. Let's check it out. Huh? Choose a sticker for your save file. Okay. Well, I always load these, so let's do this one. And dive deep into Stan's story. There are three types of people. The living, the dead, and those who are at sea. Base to capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Come here, mate. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, oh, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. That would suck. I mean, the headlines <laughs> alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Back to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. Alright, last thing, helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? Oh, yes I am. <sighs> you have no idea. So I think this is about a seven to eight hour long game. Okay. So we'll do a couple of All episodes. Right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right, the mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door mm -hmm. right in front of you. There is. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Okay, we can open and close the hut. Uh. Ah, I see. Okay. Let's walk through the door. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. I talk to the fishes. It's really loud, right? I don't know. I'll figure out after this first episode. That's the only way I can check if the audio's. But I think it sounds a little loud, yeah? Yeah, let's put it down to, I don't know, 60? 55, maybe? 
There we go. Let's see if that's if that sounds alright. It's still loud. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Okay. That's um, that's a big door. Wait till you see the rest of the place. Valve on the side there should pop it open. What did he say? I was... Ah, here we are. Open the valve. It's still so loud. At least in my ears. Let's bump it down some more. Like 44. If that's any better. Crank this baby open. Voila. Voila. Open sesame. Heading in. That's the same thing as I told her yesterday. <laughs> Garage bunker. Find moon. Reach hangar. Okay. Hello, little fishies. What happens if we bump into this? Does it move? No. Yeah, it does. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Looks like a lift. <clears throat> What's this thing? Metal? Okay, I think maybe there will be some crafting in this game then. Stanley Moray, personal information. Okay. Message from Unit Trench HR to Timothy Graham. Your recent request has been approved, although I'm still not sure where this has come from. This guy, Stan Moray, is now under your supervision as an offshore operator. Alrighty then, so we'll have some logs and some fauna information. All kinds of stuff. Uh, we are going this way, right? No. Maybe. Hey, crap! Got crabs? <laughs> hmm. It's darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I so where's the generator room? On my application form. Right bumper to Lucky scan you. environment. The trench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies oh, in the here. The startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. I but got the power. Low, I'm not paying for it. Turn on generator. Do I need to. Plug something in here first. Oh, we have a couple of generators here. Let's start with the main generator. There you go. I got the power. You're almost out of oxygen, it looks like. If you look on the left side of the screen. That's not good. Okay, done. We have power. I need to hurry up, I guess. Reach hangar. Oh, is it this way? It's not that way, that's for sure. How 
big is this place? Big. It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage oh. itself is another Some part plastic, of the plastic, maybe? See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Yay! Uh, Let's go swimming. How much air does this suit have again? Not a lot. Enough. Look, if you get stuck, we'll send a drone after you. They've picked up worse. Okay, press Y to swim. Okay. I'm swimming. Right. We're doing this. Remember, you Up can Up and down, left well trigger, right trigger. Y to land, A to hardy, boost. So don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me. It's so dark, where am I swimming to? Okay, we have an exclamation mark on oh, on the minimap, that's up here. Okay, um, another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Uh, how do you want me learning opportunity? What are you talking about? How am I going to open this door? Have any controls around here somewhere? This thing? No? Around this way, maybe? No? Press Y to land. Maybe we can open it that way. When we're not swimming. Yeah. Okay. Some plastic lying around. And an oxygen stick is somewhere. Plastic bottle. Up here, maybe? Why walk when you can swim? Okay. Have a look over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oxygen stick. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Let's take all of them. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In suit oxygen resupply. You have no idea how much of a headache those things were to get working. Press X to use item. Okay. You're full. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Okay, let's truck her on. Let's first find out which way to go. Let's follow the exclamation marks. We have to get back down here. Maybe. Through this door. Nope. So the exclamation mark is right around here. I'm sure I'm not going in this way. Doesn't look like it. Oh, don't land. Ah, okay, we're swimming up here. Yes, no, maybe. Where the F am I supposed to go? Uh, I have no clue. Ah, up here, okay. There's a plateau here. That I didn't see. Jobs are good, on. Head on through 
closer to the garage. Will do. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Wait. Are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? <laughs> oh, Stan. It's lovely. Cla oh, okay. Out. Little birds. Soothing. <laughs> Very funny. You're a funny man. What's his name, Tim? Look, a there jellyfish. She is, the moon. Pride of Hello, little jelly. Really? No, she's a piece of junk. <laughs> but good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. Oh, have a small submarine. She's a solid piece of kid. Now you're a fully qualified unit trench service diver. We spared no expense. Well, how do we open this thing? Handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. Okay. Decouple it here. First lock for me. Looks like she's all fueled up. Decouple the other side you as well. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh no. This is oh, the we're low on oxygen again. For kiddies. But maybe we can make. Oh, okay. We are going to use. Real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky. We don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. All right. It's decoupled. Let's see if we can find our way inside. Oh, okay, it's not not quite decoupled yet. And one more clan. Here we go. Find a way inside. I'm on board now. Here we go. All right. Just like in training. Primary motor on. Check flaps and rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. A pretty Think smart of it like too. swimming, but faster, and with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into <laughs> something. Let's try and not do that. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. We're live. All right. Good to go. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Just left trigger and right trigger to accelerate and decelerate. That a drone following us? Or a repair drone, I think. Doors working as intended, I see. And the we're into the sea. Uh, okay. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. Okay, maybe not it's the open sea then. Boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. Okay, we can strafe it. Left bumper. Just left stick to change view. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You we need can to boost the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. Right but to scan environment. Already done that. Now. I'm so excited for this game, for this story to unfold. And also the the visuals down in the sea. It's gonna be awesome. Looks like a lighthouse. 
on the bottom of the ocean floor. It's also a cool view. Quite the view. See the dock. And here's our new home. Moon will fit snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there, it's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh try not to run into it. Are we landing on on top of this thing? Yeah? I think so. Let's go a little forward. Okay, I guess that's not <laughs> where we are landing. Ah, there, I see the docking station now. Me so blind. I heard a dolphin or a whale of some sorts. See if we can land this thing. Docking complete. Heading inside. Roger that. And this is our new home. <coughs> I'll do our entrance here. I see it. <clears throat> I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... You alright, Stan? Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Oh, is Tim inside here as well? Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. Answers Tim call. Oh, there's the radio. It does, um... Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. Turn on Mercury. Hey, let's turn on this bad boy. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Mr. Stan. Mustache. Meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merc's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. <laughs> hmm. What is the meaning of life? Worth it, Stan. It's 42. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Uh huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself and with we all have the facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. So which one's the storage room? It's over here. Open on this panel, no? This looks like the storage room. Alright. Is this a pol Polaroid camera? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Three new missions available. Photo missions, okay. Take a picture of a leatherback turtle. Ah, I have to take pictures of wildlife. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, sharks? There's gonna be sharks? Awesome. We're gonna die. What's this thing? Uh, is this thing on? Huh. What is it even? Crafting table. Crafting table, okay. Had a whole training module on this thing. Raw materials go in. Useful stuff comes out. Very fancy. Hm. Deactivated. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these... Well... Should hang them up at some point. What Without is it? Drilling any holes. <laughs> That'd be dumb, you know? Is there anything more in here I need to explore? No? Okay, let's get out of here. Check the other rooms as well. Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day is your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. Kit? I should probably is this the kitchen? Check in. With Emma. Can we call her on the radio here? No? Call Emma. How would one do that? Hello, user Stanley Moray. Call Emma. Okay. Let's, let's find out where we, can, where we can call her from. Well, this is damn right hospitable. TV and everything. Why would you need TV? Just look out the window. Yeah. You can sit down. Hmm. Yeah, this will do nicely. Can watch the TV. Weather off the coast continues to be unseasonally calm. Great news for the local sailing regatta set to start tomorrow morning. Guess All this right thing's my only company down here. Not having Emma around is. It's gonna take some time getting used to. All right, let's stand up. Stand up. Stand up for your rights. See what's in the fridge. <sighs> Damn things frozen shut. Oh, okay. That could be an issue. So where? Where's our sleeping place? Our cabin or whatever it's called? Must be in here then. Is this an, is this not the airlock? No. Alright. Seems simple enough. Look at this beautiful guy. Make faces. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> oh, beautiful guy, you. And we can have a shit. Rather exposed. Good job I'm alone. Could take a shower. Seems kind of redundant. Given, you know, bottom of the ocean and all. Uh, but you're not swimming naked. And it's not clean water. So, not that very redundant. Oh. Yeah, I can make this work. Oh, hey, oh. computer. They really did push the boat out. I guess this is where we can call Emma from. Yeah. Let's do it. Emma? Emma, love? Uh, I'll call her. Log in, please. Oh, I have to press B again. Mm, uh, a little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. 
Hi, this is Emma. Hey, Emma. I'm not here at the moment, oh. obviously, so do the thing after the thing. Lost. <sighs> Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't. Uh, what we said before I left. You you said you needed space, right? And I yeah, needed space. got the space so, now. So yeah, this is space. <laughs> uh, just the, Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the the line should be fixed by now, but yeah, it's you know Trent, so. Who knows? I miss us. Oh. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um. <clears throat> you should. You should get to bed. Right it then. Log entry day one. They told me I need to keep a log, personal thoughts, any issues, stuff like that. Apparently it helps maintain a steady emotional baseline. I'll take their word for it. This is my second stint as a diver and my first living on the bottom. The life module is very nice, there's a television. Honestly, I don't know what to write here. I feel good, I suppose. The isolation is nice, needed. End of entry. Congratulations, employee. As an offshore maintenance operative, you're an essential part of the Unit Trench family. Your well being is our priority. Through extensive research, we found keeping a record of life helps maintain a steady emotional baseline, meaning you feel better, live better, and work better. Please find attached a Unit Trench notepad, notepad, trademark, for your daily logs. Remember, the more personal the entry, the stronger your mental fortitude. Welcome my board, Jeremy Cruz, Chief Operational Officer. Logs are subject to international maritime law and sole property of Unitrench, Unitrench Incorporated. Entries may be used for research and monitoring pur purposes. So maybe not that personal entries. <laughs> Lost objects. Okay, that's the camera I found. Was this Surfrider Foundation? Okay, it's just about waste and stuff like that. Oh, we have a lot of stuff here. Or these are mission logs or items. And the Polaroids. We can only do 20 Polaroids. Free time. End of the day. Let's go to sleep. Big day tomorrow. Let's get some shut eye. What? Oh. We're having a nightmare, Where maybe. Am I? I was. What is this? I don't know. I think this is where we will end this episode. If you. If you'd like me to play more of this game, leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't don't just leave a like, you could subscribe as well if you not already done that. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.